This set of video tutorials will walk you through how to use the InDesign formatting template from Alt-19 Creative. I'm Stephanie Anderson, and I've been a book formatter for many, many years, and I love using InDesign to do my books. As an author or a designer, you should want the best books possible, and using InDesign for formatting is the way to get there. If you walk into a Barnes & Noble, probably 90, 95, maybe even 99% of the books in that store have been formatted using InDesign. So why not format with the best? So this template will make it a little easier to format using InDesign. It already has master pages set up as well as styles. And I'll also include a step-by-step -step instructions on how to format your print book as well as format your ebook. This tutorial series will also correlate with that. And if you ever have any questions, you can join my Facebook group. If you go to Facebook and do a search for the group Building Books with Adobe InDesign, join it and ask away. I will be your trainer and ask, answer any questions that you have regarding the template. Through this tutorial, we're going to stick with a simple format. If you are interested in more fancy formatting, I also offer training videos. All right, now let's get started. Page one of the template is going to be your book title. It also hidden is the InDesign formatting um, checklist that I've created for you. Now, if you don't see this checklist, if you use the W key, it will toggle between what we call print preview and then just the screen preview. So print preview only shows what will be printed and the screen preview shows things that don't get printed. So this box is set to non-printing, so you don't see it. It also doesn't show you the lines and the baseline grid and things of that nature when you are in print preview. As I'm building my InDesign book, I prefer to look at the screen preview where we have our hidden characters. Now, if you don't see hidden characters, you can turn these off and on by going to type, um, hidden characters down at the very bottom, <clears throat> and the shortcut code is Control-Alt-I. So, Control-Alt-I. Hides them, Control-I, I, Alt-I shows them. It's really good to get in the habit of using shortcut keys, and I will try to um, mention them as we're going through the tutorial process. Also, if you're fairly new to InDesign, I would recommend just doing a basic training video on how to use it and how to get around. Also, I have a video set up on how to set up your workspace in InDesign. This is the method that I prefer to use. You can, you can adjust all of these tabs over here to your liking based on what you plan on using. I use all of these religiously, so I like to have them at, my, um, at the click of my mouse. But you can also access any of these on the Windows tab. All the menus are here. Also, this is the control panel. And it changes depending on what you have selected. Like right now, I am in the text of our checklist. And it shows me my paragraph settings as well as my character settings. And depending on how large your monitor is, you will see more or less of this toolbar. I'm on a 4K monitor, so I see everything. All right, so in regards to the workspace, if you go to Building Books with Adobe InDesign group on Facebook, I do have a video specifically on workspaces and how to set your workspace up and how to save it and how to reset it just in case um, one of the options goes missing. So like you can accidentally, you may pull your character menu off and then close it and it's gone. But if you go to reset, it will reset your saved, uh, saved menu. I highly recommend setting up your workspace because it will definitely be a time saver. All right, now 
let's take a tour of the template. The first text frame, and I say text frame because it is basically a document that's threaded together. All right, that's something important to know in InDesign is that our work is made up of text boxes or image boxes. And when we're building books, it is very important to use threaded text frames, especially if we are doing ebook formatting. So our first text frame is our chapter title and our copyright page. And if you have additional front matter, you can easily add it at the end of the copyright page. So let's say you want to add a dedication, go to the very end of the copyright page, hit the enter key on the number keypad that's going to create a page break. You can also insert a page break by going to insert, break character, page break. Okay. All right. So then if you wanted to add a dedication, you would just start typing. Now, this is a little bug in InDesign. Once you come over here and hit your page break, it doesn't immediately show the next page. Just start typing or paste, um, paste any information you have pulled in into basically a blind page, and then InDesign will fill that information in. All right, so we're going to delete that. And as you noticed, when we did that, InDesign created a new page and it shifted this page to the following page. Okay, that's the way text frames worked. They're linked and you'll see this, this line and then you'll see, you won't see the line continue here. It's because the table of contents is a separate text frame. And then we come to this page right here, page one of our manuscript. It's also a separate text frame. I also have a separate text frame set up for back matter. However, you don't always have to put your back matter here. You can also flow it at the end of your manuscript as well. It doesn't have to be in a separate back matter, but some people prefer it. So when we add pages to the, this main text frame right here, when we, when we place our content, maybe you have a Word document and you place your content here, InDesign is going to continue to add pages until every page of the manuscript is in. And then that will push this page, which is currently page two, all the way to the end of this text frame. And everything in your text frame, once you place it here, will be threaded. So what threaded means is it just is going to show this line and how the pages continue and how they're linked. If you do not see this line, you can go to Windows, I'm sorry, View, Grids and Guideline, Grids and Guides, and Baseline Grid, which is Control, Alt, Single Quotation. Control, Alt, single quotation. And that, that does not work for me. So let's look that, at that again. That is not a, um, that is not a, a, a shortcut code that I use often. Actually, I never use it. So let's try it again. Yep, that one didn't work, but that's okay. You can just go to view, grids and guides, hide baseline grid. 